Hello again, everyone. Yes, you guessed it. Today is all about fish. So, I have a comet, which is like a type of a goldfish, and we're gonna, we've been looking at animal adaptations and eventually possibly moving to some engineering, but we're gonna uh, cover another organism today. And we're also gonna come up with an investigation um, after we do what we call our variable sort of an investigation we could do about a fish that we'll carry out next time. So anyway, um, normally this fish's habitat is bigger. I just have it out so we can see it much better, okay? But normally it's in a bigger habitat. I have an aquarium for it, okay? So what we're gonna look at is its structure, like its body and its function, what it has to survive. And then um, as we do that, like I said, we're gonna come up with variables that we could test about this fish, okay? All right, I'll bring the fish over here and I have a few more in another container I'll show you. Um, we'll go over some of these things that I've written down, but today is about fish adaptations, like I said, and what we call a variable sort. You are going to need a pencil or a marker, if that's what you'd like. Uh, your science notebook. If you don't have a science notebook, you can use a piece of paper or your whiteboard. But remember, the notebook's nice because we can always go back to it and look at what we had done earlier when we need to do that, okay? So pencil, science notebook, if you have colored pencils or crayons, great. If you don't, you don't need them. But um, we're gonna obviously be drawing the fish and we're gonna look at some parts of it and its structure and function. So let's come over here. And what we'll do is we'll take another look. Here's another container I have. Like I said, I have a bigger aquarium for them. But uh, here's another container of them, okay? And as we look at them, we can see some different parts to these fish, okay? Just trying to get them right in line here, yeah. And we can see some different colorings there too. Okay, so at the top of my paper, and I'm gonna show you my notebook in just a minute, um, but what we're gonna take a look at is, like I said, fish adaptations. Basically, we're gonna be drawing a fish, okay? So what I'd like you to do first, please, is put today's date at the top of your notebook paper. All right, I'm gonna bring you over to my notebook now. So the date, and then I'd like you to write fish adaptations, okay? So we're gonna write fish adaptations, okay? So write that word. If you need to pause it all, please do that during this, okay? Just pause your, Pause the video and you can, can write it down. All right. Now, so as I mentioned, the two things that we're going to do um, is we're going to come up with the different adaptations. So you're going to be drawing a fish. You can draw it nice and big, take up half your sheet of paper. And then we're going to come up with some questions that we could possibly investigate. And we're going to come up with four. I'll give you an example one uh, in a little bit. But after we do all of these uh, different fish adaptations, okay? All right, so we have our goldfish hanging out there. You can go ahead and draw the outside of your fish, okay? So now what you're going to do first is after you draw the fish, we're going to label a few parts, okay? Okay. First of all, we know fish are covered with uh, scales, all right? And so that's a distinct part of their body covering, okay? And if you think about it, um, there is one other organism that has scales, one other group of organisms other than fish that have scales. And... That would be, you don't have to cover your whole fish, but um, that would be reptiles. So reptiles, of course, have scales too. All right. Now, um, what we're going to do is we are going to label scales. So I want you to put an arrow and write down scales. Okay. So that's worth one point right there. 
okay, even more than one. And so we've got scales down, so that part of the fish. So you draw it and you have that, okay? Then we can see we have the eyes, and the eyes on a fish are on the side, on this fish are, are on the sides, okay? And we know that means they are ready to hide, okay? And so they're on the side, so they're ready to hide. I'm going to show you a picture of a fish that I caught, and then I let it go, um, but has its eyes in front because it's a predator fish, okay? This one, its eyes are on the side, so it is ready to hide, okay? Um, staying away from predators. So we have the eyes, and then we have the scales. Now these things we know are called fins, okay? So you can see our fish have all kinds of fins. How can we, can we see it in the cup any better? Yeah, they have fins in different places. We're gonna look at some of the main ones. I'm actually not gonna do every single fin, but we'll look at some of the main ones, all right? So we'll look at three different areas, three different main ones, but there's more, but we're just gonna do these three. The one on the top, one of the easier ones to see, this is called a dorsal fin, okay? So dorsal fin. So write that down, okay? And think a minute what this adaptation might help the fish do, okay? Yeah, you got it. It helps it go straight so it's not swimming on its side, okay? So that's the dorsal fin. Now we're going to go over here. Sorry, my fish doesn't quite look like a fish, but um, good thing Miss Courtney's coming back to teach us some more art. Yay, Miss Courtney. Okay. Um, now, uh, back here, we have a tail fin. So this is a tail fin. So I'm going to put down tail fin. And it kind of, gi it does give the fish power, okay? So it goes and gives it power to actually push forward, okay? So label that, okay? And this next one goes in more of a circular pattern. And what this does, this next one, is um, it'll help it like stay in one place. And this is called the pectoral, whoops, sorry, the pectoral fin. Okay, so write that down. Again, pause if you need to. Now, if you have crayons colored pencils, it'd be great to maybe add some coloring. We can see we do have some different coloring on the comet fish. However, we can see a lot of them, a lot of their body parts are orange, okay? So a lot of the parts are orange. Okay, so those are just a few of its adaptations that it has to survive. And I forgot the big one, that makes a fish a fish, and that's how it breathes, because it is the only animal that breathes under H2O or under water. Okay, it's the only one that breathes underwater, and that would be it's, it breathes with its gills, okay? So make sure you put down a uh, gill, that it breathes, um, that, it, that it has a gill, okay? So put that down. All right, and that allows it to get oxygen, dissolved oxygen from underneath the water, okay? Now, don't rush through this and slap this together and then boom, hit submit, okay? I want you to, you know, do a decent job with it, okay? Now, the other thing I need you to do, same sheet, let's think of some questions. I'm going to give you one, okay, that I'm thinking about. Something you wonder about these goldfish. Something you just wonder. What's an experiment we could do? Now, we can't harm it, but um, I was thinking of one. I wonder if they can hear sounds. Can fish hear sound? Okay, and I wonder if so, what kind of sounds they can hear. So can fish hear sound? So that's one for you, okay? I want, and just do a complete sentence. It can be a short sentence, but a complete sentence on, you know, 
something else you wonder about, okay? We're going to do an investigation next time on one of the ones that you come up with, okay? One of the ones that you come up with. So how many do you need? You're going to need a total of four. Did I give you one? Yes, you can use the one about sound, all right? All on one page, and then please submit it, okay? Let's put it right up in Schoology. All right, friends, look forward to seeing your submissions on the fish. Okay, what was that? They said something. And bye, everyone. I'll see you later. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> wow. All right, maybe that's another question. Okay, so anyway, that is one with uh, sound, um, a question with sound, and this other one you can come up with. You're going to come up with three other questions, okay? Can't have to do with their habitat. Um, just, you know, what's a, like a choice we could give them as far as their preference. All right. Well, everyone, uh, see you soon. All right. I look forward to seeing your submissions. Make sure you get this done and we'll see you later. Stay curious.